Today I'm going to look at Landscape in Ink and Coloured Pencil by Helen Hansen. This book was published by the Crowwood Press in 2022. Now I got very excited when I saw this book. I know I often get excited about art books but I don't have one on ink and coloured pencil. This is something I've been doing for years with my mixed media. I love to add a little bit of coloured pencil. Sometimes I use water soluble but I also love dry pencil. So to actually find a book that I could add to my collection that I don't have before was really exciting for me. Now we're going to just have a look at the back here because I didn't know much about Helen and it turns out she was a printmaker and that's probably how I've missed her over the years. But she's also an experienced artist and tutor. In this book she's going to teach you how to integrate ink and coloured pencil in a creative way. Enjoy combining simple techniques to develop your style and give your landscapes a real sense of place. Now with this book, you may look at it and think, oh dear, it's very complicated. I'm not going to be able to do a picture like this. How can I do this? But there's so much information in here. Unlike some of my other books, it's not a purely inspirational book. It's not purely step by step. You have a combination. There is quite a lot of text. You are going to have to read it, but you will be able to create a beautiful landscape. Now here we have all the picture contents, which as you probably also know, I love to see. It makes things so much easier to find. And you have not just things you'd expect to see, like materials and equipment, but things like translating the landscape, the importance of integration, seeing the whole picture. Here we have an introduction to Helen and what to expect from the book. These three pictures were etchings and so was this. This was her final etching and this was her first ink and coloured pencil. Now this is a lovely picture but with this one see how beautiful this is. Lovely soft shading. Now the materials and equipment chapter is very detailed. You've got lots of different pens. You've got a comparison of the different pens to help you choose what you would like. You've got lots of information on the coloured pencils with also the numbers from the different ranges, the papers, the extra equipment like pencil sharpeners and blenders. So that is everything you need to know about the equipment. We then move on to translating the landscape. The pictures are just so beautiful in here. So there's lots of advice on ways to think about your picture, how you'd like to create your picture, some inspirational books that Helen has used. We move on to composition. I just think the pictures are just so beautiful. It's a book that I observing and breaking rules. I really like the fact that you can break the rules in art. The rules are there as a guide, but you, it's your picture, you can do whatever you want. Maybe I'm just a bit of a rebel with my art. We've got the basic techniques. Now this is why I was explaining to you anyone could use this book, even if you're not experienced in ink and coloured pencil, because this is very detailed on using ink and coloured pencil. So again, it's not step by step, but all the information you need is here. You have got lots of examples. Mark making basic technique in coloured pencil everything you need to know there to actually use this book. We've got the extras on creating textures and lifting out. There's a lot in this book so I'm just flipping through and then we have putting pen to paper, how to actually compose and progress with your picture. The importance of integration. So as I just mentioned, it, there is a lot of text, but it's all very relevant. It's all very easy to understand. So it's a book that you really do have to read properly to get the full benefit of the book. But it's an absolute joy to read. A closer look, this really appealed to me because I love things like tree bark and rocks and pebbles. I really like drawing them. I have to move through a little bit quickly because it's 160 pages 
seeing the whole picture I love these recipes for deep shades instead of just using a grey you mix your own grey really pretty and coming up to finishing touches working on a series I really like this and this is where you have some step-by-step -step instructions you've got two projects with step-by-step -step instructions summer water side and quiet backwater and in a minute we will have a little bit about the seasons coming up which is really nice we can find this page here we've flipped through a little bit so four seasonal projects now with these you don't have the step-by-step -step instructions but all the information is in the text here and you've got some little pictures the beginning the middle and the final picture and that's the same for all four of these little projects at the back of the book so you have everything you're going to need really you're definitely going to be inspired by this book you're going to want to try and create these some pictures and so don't be put off because it is all about practicing, following the information and just taking your time to create a lovely picture. So another beautiful book that I can highly recommend. I haven't seen another book like this and I just feel that this would be a wonderful book if you like ink and you like coloured pencil and you want to learn to use them together.